it's not going to, he starts hollering, she starts hollering, and this lady says the same thing, so everybody is like, so. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So these grandmother was seen by four witnesses punching her grandson while waiting at the bus stop for school pickup. Yes, I did smack him. It's all, all the video. Look at him, there's not a bruise on him. I, did, I want to smack him here. Get his head, children. Yep. That's fine. All under counseling. Okay. This little bit of very problems. The mother's a she comes in out of the light, she comes in out of the light. I did smack him, then he starts hollering, she starts hollering. And this lady says the same thing. So everybody is like, I'm the town the The bus pulled up. She's got three of them. The little guy in the front seat and two uh, granddaughters. Two kids, one was sitting over here already, the other one was in the car. The bus pulled up, the older one got out, the two got on the bus. The little man didn't want to get out of the car. She opened the passenger door on this side, he was on the back right side. Come on, come on, yelling and screaming at him. She walked around, grabbed the kid, jerked him out the car, grabbed his hair, started beating him in the head. This lady jumped out yelling and screaming, stop hitting him, stop hitting him. I ran over to yell at him, and all of a sudden she just went crazy. Crazy. The little kid is scared. Go ask him. Talk to him. Hey, buddy. You okay? The conversation between the child and the police officer was muted. But according to police report, the five-year-old stated that his grandmother pulled his hair and punched him because he didn't want to go to school. He also told the officer that his grandmother physically hits him on a daily basis. And I went to grab him, I said, come on, and I went to slap him on the shelf and he and I'll help you out, all right? You okay? You need a hug? Come here. It's all right. We'll figure it out, okay? Don't worry about it. And were you guys like screaming or anything after? A few moments later, additional officers arrived at the scene to get statements from the witnesses before determining whether or not to charge the woman. Pulled up. She's got um, the little man and two other kids. She's got all three of her grandkids. The uh, little one, she got out and was sitting with my grandson and the rest of them, you know, like they do, on the driver. Uh -huh. The older one stayed in the car. The bus come, the older one got out, this one got up, they all got on the bus, and uh, the bus was here. She was yelling, get out, get out, get out. And then all of a sudden I heard the door slam. So I jumped out and I started walking that way, and I hear a scream, yelling, cursing at the kid. She opened the passenger door on the right side, brought the kid out, whacked him on his butt three or four times, and then grabbed his head. She started smacking the shit out of him in the face. All three of us just jumped out, started yelling and screaming, mind your own business. We grabbed the kid, she's trying to get the kid, that's my kid, mind your own business, all oh, this, this and that. We're like, you're going to jail. I ain't going nowhere, you're all a bunch of idiots, and I'll do what I want, they're my kids. And we put him in the car because he was scared. She's trying to get to the car to get to the kid. We're like, whoa, she's like, that's my kid, you're not putting him in the car, da da da. I'm like, calm down. Yeah, I told you what happened. I know. No. Helping hands right now because I'm having issues with it. And then it's, like I said, not a fair point. No, listen, when you're a parent or a guardian of a child, what the punishment is 100% legal. You're able to get that. It's a punishment, right? But it can't be, it can't be excessive. It was not excessive. Let me talk. Sorry, let me talk. 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 Well, this is what we're going to do. Let me talk. I'm sorry. I just want to make this clear now. I said, let me talk. That's 100% legal when it gets to the point where a child has injuries, which from what I saw, I didn't see any injuries, but when we have four people, including the child, saying that there was physical abuse past that point of There's no reason I'm not here and you know, you know, you know, once everybody says there's nothing on your head. What am I supposed to do when I have four people? I don't know, but he doesn't have to do something. I know her. I used to work with her daughter. She's another one. You all know her daughter, too. They're out there damn minds. Um, she beats these kids all the time. Every day at this bus stop, she's cursing, screaming at him. She can't handle it. It's ridiculous. DCF is supposed to be involved, yet nothing's getting done. Right. These poor kids are suffering. There's no food in the house. There's no shit all over. She's got like eight or nine dogs. This shit everywhere. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. So this morning, I said, yo, I'm done. You're not going to do this no more. So when she started beating that kid like that, you know, I've watched him beat him a bunch of times on his butt, but, yo, this is crazy. Okay. You grab a can of How old is he? 
five years old. He's sitting in the front seat right okay. there. Yeah, His name is He's a good little kid, but he's so scared. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you right now, that, that kid is scared. He's scared. Look at all the dog that's possible. No, he's not scared of He's not scared of that. He's scared of you. And for him to say that this kind of stuff happens every day, I can system. promise you one thing. Okay. We really need to call him. I promise you something. The moment I determined that there was abuse further than corporal punishment, you're going to get charged with everything I possibly okay. can't charge you with because I'm not going to mess around with somebody doing that I good job. I do that. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I don't want you to be under the impression that you're going to get away with something. I'm not going to be under the impression. I actually adopted all three of them. And it makes them all call her mom. Come on, you're her grandma. I adopted my grandson. Why do you have to put torture in these kids like this? Does she have someone else at home that watches no, the kids too with Justin? And half the time she don't even come to the bus stop in the afternoon, she's sleeping on the couch and all and this and that. It's crazy. It's ridiculous that these kids gotta go through this. So when she grabbed him by the hair and started hitting him, um, like The lady up there on the thing, her car is over there. She was at, pulling up to the stop sign as it happened. She screamed, I screamed, and, and then she jumped out. All three of us ran over. We grabbed the kid right away. And was she, it an open hand or closed hand? Smacking him on his butt, it was open hands. When she started in, in his head, she grabbed his hair and she pulled his hand. He's trying to get away, but she smacked it and then she closed the hand. And that's when I grabbed, we grabbed the kid. I was like, yo, this is enough now. This is ridiculous. You know, and she starts yelling, no, your kid's in prison, you're a junkie, this is, come on, lady. Thank you very much. No I appreciate your time. You want a sticker? You want a sticker too? There you go, buddy. Thank you for being so brave. So you were witnesses as well? Yes, I was in the black car. Um, you're in that Hyundai? Right. Okay, and then okay. they're in the okay. Nissan? Correct. Okay. So I pulled, and I never come this way. I was looking for a specific house of a nuisance motorcyclist, because I was going to get the guys attacked. So I came this way, and I'm stopping. The school bus will stop letting the kids on. And I just see her with a little boy on this side of the car, by the rear passenger. And she had grabbed him by his shirt and was smacking him in his head repeatedly, like three or four times. I see this gentleman confronting her, yelling at her to knock the stuff off. I jump out of my car, I'm yelling at her. She's like, I didn't leave a mark on him, whatever. I was smacking it, forced, I mean, this little kid's head was moving. She was hitting him so hard in his head. Not on his ass, you know, like a spanking. She was beating that kid in the head. Oh, yeah. And you're not familiar with this family? I have no, I don't even know where I know. Because I never come this way specifically to avoid the school bus. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Thanks a lot, Sam. Yes, ma'am. Um, so are you able to tell me what happened, what you saw? Um, I was sitting in my car. All the kids were piling up on the bus. And then... Uh, was your car parked here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, sorry. It's okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he didn't want to get on the bus. He's done it before. It's never gotten to this point. He's gotten on crying, but it never got to the beating point that I've seen. Uh, I've seen her try to like pry him out of the car, but not strike him the way she did. Spanking, I spank my kids when they need this, but that's one thing. But hitting, she had a closed fist, had him on the side of the car, and was just swing. Where Was she landing any blows? I saw him get hit once in the head, and that's when I got out, so I don't know what. In the process, I, I, cause I, had, I had my babies in the car, I had to make sure they were okay. So I had to, I got out and that's when they were already on their way over there and I just... So who got over there first? Which adult got she, over there? She, I believe, did. And then or they got there at the same time because yeah, she was at the stop sign. Right. Um, but I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't run that time. Yeah. Spanking's one thing, making a fist. So, yeah, so you just witnessed one actual blow? Yes. With a closed fist? Yes. I saw the, the spanking and the blow. That was okay. it. All right. If you have your driver's license, we'll yeah. grab your phone number, and then you guys can get out of here. We'll uh, we'll take him. All right. Listen. Oh, this is hot here too. I want to ask you some more. Come on, come over here. I want to ask you some more questions. What's your name? Debbie Olson. All right. I'm gonna read you your rights just because everything going on here. Okay. I want to ask you some questions that pertain to this. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney with you prior to, during, or after any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney and desire one, the court will appoint one for you. You may stop answering at any time by refusing to answer further or by requesting to consult with your attorney. Do you understand each of these rights I explained? So what are you, are you charging with something like that? Do you understand these rights I explained? Yes, but I'm asking a question. Let me, ask, let me ask you this other question. With these rights in mind, are you willing to talk to me? 
I just want to know if I'm getting charged with something. I will explain it to you. I need you to answer these questions. I thought I had the right person. With the, I'm not going to talk to you unless you answer these questions. With these reds in mind, are you willing to talk to me? Not if I'm getting charged with something. Okay. At this point, you are being placed under arrest. Okay, I will talk to you. I will talk to you. We're past that. No, point. I will talk to you. We're past that. Turn around. Oh, listen, Turn I will around. talk to you. Turn around. Do not go away. Okay, I'm good. Like you're crying, I'll be a little bit easier. I, 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 I have a little bit easier. Yep. Yeah. Let's use two pairs. So I'm going to use two pairs so you have a little bit more. Actually, are you? Oh, why can't I ask that question on, that way? I don't understand. Because you, you refuse to answer I my did questions. refuse. I said I just want to know if I'm charged. Yes, I will answer you your question. You are. You are being charged. The reason being yeah, is we that. have... What four now? People. I'm sorry, I don't understand. We have four okay. people, including the child, saying that you, you physically closed you close your fist. I did not question. close my fist. Do you fist. want me to explain it to you or no? I didn't, sir. I, I didn't. have zero tolerance for this kind of shit. Right, put your hands again. Right. This poor kid... This poor kid, they're under counseling, and I can explain that to you. Alright. You, you are a... a sorry, you have anything on you? Just a Just handle, do you have anything on your person? No. Where are your car keys at? They're in, in my pocketbook. In your pocketbook? Yeah. Do you have a phone in your pocketbook? Yes. And it was in your car? Wait, how, how, how do you get in here? I don't have to get in here. How do you get in here? Yeah. Well, Alright, just one second, hold on. Yeah. Hey, Jenkins, can you... Uh, search yeah. for a I got you, Angel, right? I you have a good day. To You're going to get your bag and take it to school. You've got to go to school. You have gloves on your water in here. Real so smart, right? Okay. Talk to you later, brother. Alright, just face the car. You'll pay, babe. You'll pay, baby. Right, we know right. what a you are, boy. You have, you know, exactly. You have a six-year-old little boy that, that you need to make a positive impact on, and that talking is not really like working. this is what he go, said. It doesn't matter. Go stand over there, because I don't want to do this in front of your grandson. But the more... Your pockets? Yeah. You have underwear on? Yeah. Can I speak for him? Alright, you're gonna go, you're gonna go with your butt first, and just sit in, and then swing your legs in, okay? Yeah, no, I can't do it. Ow. I can't do it. Hold on. Yep. Hold on. Uh, I really can't do this. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I can't get it. You're almost done, just no, I can't, I, My life's all over. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Alright. You all set? Do you sit on your hands? Do you do? Yeah. You can try to get them out from underneath you. I really can. Or you can sit a long ways. It's up to you. Okay. Alright. There you go. Alright, sit back. Eventually, it was determined that the woman intentionally struck the child and committed an act that could cause physical injury. The act of striking the child in the head with a closed fist was deemed to be unreasonable form of discipline. The woman was charged with child abuse. The Department of Children and Family Services was notified and they assumed temporary custody of the child. Do you think that grandma received a fair sentence share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe no. i'm going on the, on the not? i'm not i'm going on the party not. that's not the not height. a chance i'm going on the grass not a chance that's not your property it is this entire 10 acres is my property oh not anymore somebody bought it no it is my property walk back to your vehicle no no john you are the rudest son-in-law i've ever met from her daughter Take a look at the drama. Oh my goodness, this confrontation was intense. And I think the son-in-law handled the situation so good. Kudos to him for standing his ground and protecting his family. Single text I sent to Steph, she sends to you. Does every single text I sent to Steph, uh, sent to, to other people, do I send to you? Did she send me every text you sent to her? No. Yeah, you you really really brainwashed her. I I love my daughter. I have no enemies against her. 
I hold nothing against her. I appreciate she's my rainbow baby. I had two stillbirths before I had her. Lord Jesus Christ. The loving spirit, get off the property. She's not your rainbow child. Quit the beast. And to be free from Okay, I'm 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 sending the cops to your house. I am not demonic. It's it's time to go. Yeah. John, I can't even no, believe you. Never, I'm you saying it's like time to go. It is time to go. John, you are not welcome in this house. It is time to go. No. I can go to Helena's house though. No. Nope, this, this is our property. No. This is Brenda. Brenda, out. I want to talk to you, John. Right here. All right. I'm asking you to come out, or I will forcibly. No. Nope. Can I talk to you? Fine. Fine. Do you want to hold the camera so that this is recorded? Yeah. Okay. This is recorded. I am asking you to leave my house. We were such bad people. I have to leave. I'm your mother-in-law. You loved me. This is recorded. So as you know, you're trespassing in my house. Nobody ever told me I couldn't come here. Okay, I'm telling you right now. There's no trespassing sign. You are unwelcome in this house. Please leave before I forcibly leave you. Move you out. I said I want to talk to you, please. And I said I we're go, leaving. I will go after you talk Not to me. Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance, Brenda. Off the property. Off or okay, I'm okay, well, you. my husband will have something to say about this one. Oh yeah. That's right. Whoa. Well, off the yep. property. My husband's the, the strongest property. woman he's ever been. Good grief. Come strong at home. How would you like this to go? Just have you got the police coming? Okay. Are you serious? That's me. Oh, you guys are pathetic. You I, I show them that you can use your feel You're still 80 rainbow, 178. I'm Huckleberry, about eight minutes on the. 80. Range Road 173. There's just a. My mother came. She's a, she's in a delusional state. She's attacking their. Um, my husband's here. Um, we just need some help. We need some guidance. Brenda, Brenda Norris, Brenda Norris, uh, April 18th, 1954. I'm not sure. I think she's abusive, yeah. Um, she does generally, yes. No, no. No. Yes. My husband's trying to get her off. I but... got a million dollars. No, I don't want it. I don't want you. Yeah. Uh, not not per se, but there's there's some there. Okay, I don't know if she's leaving. Yes, there's four children, and she she ran into the house and tried to grab my youngest. Eight months. Yeah, that's him. Possibly. No, that's him. I don't know. He didn't get to treat a yeah, woman she like did. She treated me. And an orange, and uh, you don't get to treat orange a woman Jedi. Like me. Uh, wow, good on you. I'm asking you to leave. God is going to really see that when he gets to time. I can go get it right now. I taught your children stuff. I never taught you guys that. Oh, really? I taught you to run away from their mother in law. Walk away. Walk yeah, over. because you forced your way in my house, I'm gonna try and get you out, and that's why I left bruises on your arm so you'll remember. Are you okay? Yeah, I I'm sure am. Home intruder. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm a mother-in-law who loves her grandchildren and a mother to her. No nope. mother-in-law to you, to Helena. I'm gonna talk to Helena. I'm going to you Helena. Can call her. No, I'm going on the. On the not, I'm not. I'm going on the party. Do not. That's not the not. house. A chance. I'm going on the grass. Not a chance. That's not your property. It is. This entire 10 acres is my property. Oh, not anymore. Somebody bought it. No, it is my property. Walk back to your vehicle. No. No, John. You are the rudest son-in-law I've ever met. Property destruction, you know. You do that. Yeah, I'm taking this to my bouquet. Guess what? I have you on film too. Yep. Because you're such a jerk. I've never met somebody like you. I work at the hospital. I meet a lot of people. 
And um, you are not welcome. You've been asked to leave. Okay, now my phone's gone. Not my problem. Well, I won't leave till I find it. I don't care. <laughs> okay, then we'll stay here. Police are coming. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. Steph did, so. Nope. I believe we have the right to defend our home. Okay. Oh, here's my keys. Okay, see ya. Oh my goodness, this confrontation was intense. And I think the son-in-law handled the situation so good. Kudos to him for standing his ground and protecting his family. Here you are. Here's the receipt. You can look up the information. Okay, good. Now I have your information. Can you make a copy, please, for yourself, for your no. records? No. Make a copy for your you records. Have the keys to and a stone car. Cut, you cut, have record. the keys to a stone car. This next video showcases what we call bad customer service, at least in my opinion. Take a look at this. You know where my belongings are? No, I don't. So where? So you're the manager, right? No, if my I'm car the was repo this counter, right, yeah. so I'm asking you, you didn't even type anything up on the computer to see when the car came in. My belongings are gone. I'm trying to give you the information. You want the receipt? I can give you the receipt. I can give you the rental number okay, and everything. I need the keys back. I will That's give you the. I, need. I will give you the rental receipt. No, you're gonna give I'm, me the keys. I'm gonna give you the rental you're receipt. Give me the keys. I'm gonna give you the rental receipt. You're gonna give me the keys. I'm not. I'm okay. gonna get. I'm so, gonna get the. Sir, gonna, I'm gonna get the so rental receipt. The car is reported stolen. And you have the keys. It's not because so, it's in so Florida. The, the car is in Florida. Florida. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You didn't do your job. That's fine. You didn't do your That's job. Fine. You didn't do your Sorry, job. Give me the keys back. No. I have the okay, rental receipt. I have the rental receipt. I have the rental receipt. I have the. I have. I have the rental receipt for you. I have the rental receipt. Get the out of here. Yep. Piece of shit. Yep. Get out of here. Oh yeah, if it hurts. Give me the keys or get out hurts of here. Hurts to the airport. This is our manager. Give me the keys or get out of here. And you swung at me. And you swung at me. And you swung at me. Give me the. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. You stole That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. What's your name? I'm not giving you What's your name? I know not. Yep. Yep. Get out of here now. Yep. You're go. You're you're fired, sir. Get out of here. You're fired, sir. You're gonna get fired. Get out of here. Hertz, now. Harrisburg Airport, that's your guy. Get out of here. That's your guy. That's your you guy. Have the keys, give them to me. That's your guy. Hertz Airport, that's your guy. That's your guy. That's your guy. Uh huh. Hertz, that's your guy. Call the police, please. I'm gonna be here when they come. I'm gonna call them right now. Got the corporate rental receipt here. Corporate rental receipt. So he can look up my information to see what happened. To my car. I mean, to my belongings. That was in the car. The 2023 Chevy uh, Malibu. So, here you are. Here's the receipt. You can look up the information. Okay, good. Now I have your information. Can you make a copy, please, for yourself, for your no. records? No. Make a copy for your you records. Have the keys to and a stolen car. Cut, cut, you have record. the keys to a stolen car. We'll make a receipt, please. No, can I'm you make, not doing can anything you make a copy? for you. Can you make I'm a not copy? Doing anything for you. You don't so have give to. Me those keys. Listen, we Are can you gonna give me the keys. Contact the, the cops, like you said. Go Are you ahead. Give me the keys to the car. Let's contact the cops, like you said. Come on, let's do it. Because you swung at me. So now, now you about to get arrested for simple assault. Let's make it happen. You about to get arrested for simple assault. You're gonna get arrested for stealing a car. Okay, we're gonna see. Call him up. I'll be right back. Do that, please. Please and thank you. Oh, yeah. Keep cussing. This is, this is fantastic customer service. You're not even a customer. Uh-huh. I got it. But you got the you receipt in your hand. But you have the receipt in your hand. The manager, in my opinion, needs to be retrained. 
But what is your thought on all of this? Let me know down in the comments and do not forget to subscribe. Oh boy. Now finally for this video, we've got a Karen passenger hurling computers at airline staff during a violent meltdown. Thank you. Thank you. If you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Take a chill pill, Karen.